hello good morning viewers in this tutorial we're going to be looking for the values of x that can satisfy this equation this is an exponential trigonometric equation we have e to the negative sine x plus e to the sine x equal to 2 and we want to find those values of x that can make this equation true okay let's start by substitution um, i would like to let e to the sine x to be equal to a variable like y a and so on so let e to the sine x be equal to y right so that the equation becomes y to the negative 1 plus y equal to 2 okay we can multiply every single term by y so if you multiply this by y you're going to obtain 1 plus y multiplied by y is y squared this is equal to 2 multiplied by y equal to 2y okay let us bring every single term to the left hand side so this becomes y squared minus 2y plus 1 and this is equal to 0 we have a quadratic equation that we can solve by factorization Two numbers that can be multiplied to get 1 and added up together to get negative 2. The numbers are negative 1 and negative 1. This implies that this is a perfect square quadratic equation. So we can write it as y minus 1 all squared. And the whole of this equal to 0. If you take the square root of both sides, you have y minus 1 equal to 0, which implies that y is equal to 1. But we have let y to be equal to e to the sine x, so we can bring it back. Therefore, e to the sine x is equal to 1 instead of y. And from here, we know that e to the power of 0 will be equal to 1. So instead of 1, we can write it as e to the power of 0. Therefore, e to the sine x is equal to e to the power of 0. Since the bases are the same, we can now set the powers to be the same as well. So sine x is equal to 0. Wow! When is this possible? Sine of an angle equal to 0. Well, it is possible at when x is 0 degrees. Because sine of 0 degrees is equal to 0, it is also possible when x is 180 degrees sine of 180 degrees is also equal to 0 sine of 360 degrees is also equal to 0 this implies that all the multiples of 180 degrees will satisfy uh, the value of x therefore we conclude that x is equal to 180 multiplied by n for which n is an integer and also in radian, um, x can be equal to 0. Likewise, n can be equal to pi because sine pi is also 0. Also, 2 pi will satisfy the value of x. And hence, we can conclude that x is equal to the, all the multiples of pi, for which n belongs to the set of integers. And therefore, 180 degrees n, O, n pi are said to be our solutions in degrees or in radians, respectively. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.